Hi there, it's Mrs. Drake with the percussion. We are on Breezy Z Book 1, Lesson 11. Breezy Z Book 1, Lesson 11. Okay, so for warm up, five stroke rolls, five stroke roll, bounce, bounce it, bounce, bounce it, bounce, bounce it. Go ahead. Okay, and now I want to remind you roll math. Each bounce counts for two. So bounce, bounce, hit. That's how come they call it a five stroke roll. Okay, now flams for warm-up, flams. And I prefer to do flam, rest, flam, rest. So flam starts with the stick that's down, and it hits almost at the same instant that the up stick hits. Now I'm doing really high sticks, so they're coming out kind of low. Uh, excuse me, they're coming out kind of loud. You can do low, low um, quiet flams. But um, with my beginners, I usually do um, a high stick so, so you can really see the flam. So go ahead and practice some flams, everybody. All right. And now on this page, they are introducing 16th notes. Okay, notice how it has a double beam double beam that's called 16th notes and the nickname is ticka ticka four of them have to cram into one beat so they have to be twice as fast as t t t t ticka ticka t t t t ticka ticka so four of them have to cram into one beat so this would be t t ta t t ta ticka ticka ta ticka ticka ta if you were using nicknames now, for the numbers, the numbers are, this is kind of weird, 1, E, and, a. Uh. I know it looks like L-E-T-A, but it's pronounced 1, E, and, not T. In, in music, you pronounce a, a plus sign as and. 1, E, and, a. Uh. So, to get used to it, I like um, people to go 1, E, and, a, 2, E, and, a, 3, E, and, a, 4, E, and, a, just so you can get used to saying it. 1, E, and, a, 2, E, and, a, 3, E, and, a, 4, E, and, because those are going to be a big part of your life. Okay. All right, so song number one, we're going to do it with numbers. So song number one is going to be 1 and 2, 1 and 2, 1, E, and, a, 2, 1, E, and, a, 2. Feel free to just practice saying it. Feel free to just practice saying it to get used to it. Then you can try to click your sticks while you're doing it, um, and then try to play it on your on your drums. Um, remember, you don't have to play with me the first time. If you just want to listen to me play it and look at your music and just say it, that's totally okay. All right. Quiet hits. Quiet hits. Song number one. One, two, ready, go. One and two. One and two. with the repeat. Okay, song number two. Again, challenging. Feel free to not play it with me the first time if you just want to watch the music and listen to me play it. It's totally okay with me. One E and a two and. Okay, everybody, song two. Ready, go. One E and a two and. One E and a two. One E and a two and. One E and a two. One E and a two and. One E and a two. One E and a two. Okay, song number three. It's a little bit spread out for some reason when they printed it, but it doesn't mean to play it faster or slower or anything. It's just different print. One E and a two E and a one E and a two and. That's the speed I'm going to go. Song number three. One, two, song three, go. One E and a two E and a one E and a two and. One E and a two E and a one E and a two. One E and a two E and a one E and a two and. One E and a two E and a one E and a you want to make it really steady. Okay, song number four is the opposite. They kind of squished it all together. Again, it's just something with the way they printed this book. I'm not going to do the repeat. Okay, song number four. This is a fun one. One, two, song four, go. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one e and a two e and a three and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three and a four e and a one. Kind of a nice warm-up. Okay, song number five. Look through it. 
There's a few eighth, eighth rests. So song five will be one and two and three, four and the rest falls on beat two. Okay, song five, everybody. One, two, ready, go. One and two and three, four and one and two the end of three and four and one and two and three, four and one and two the end of three and four. One and two and three, four and one and two the end of three and four and one and two and three, four and one and two the end of three and four. Okay. All right, the one on the bottom is called Bob and Bill. <laughs> This is what's called a duet. Notice how there are two staffs and you see how the measures are hooked together? It's called a duet. Um, and I marked it A and B. So for a duet, you need two people. One person plays the A staff, the bottom person plays the, the other person plays the B staff at the same time. They're written to be played at the same time. Okay, so with this, you can decide if you want to play the same staff as me or if you want to play the opposite staff and play a, play a duet with me. So you can decide for yourself. Um, look through it. Notice that the dynamics, the fortes and the pianos, take a look. Do you see that that changes a lot? So I'm going to do the dynamics. The first time through, feel free to leave off the dynamics. The dynamics are icing on the cake. Just try to get the rhythm right, get the counting right and all that. But once you get that under control, try to do the fortes and the pianos, which are called the dynamics, because it does make it more interesting. Okay, I'm going to play the top staff. You can decide, do you want to play along with me, or do you want to play the B staff while I play the A staff? Um, one, two, that's the speed I'm going to go one, two. So the A staff is one E and a two, and one E and a two, and. If you're playing the B staff, it's one and two, one and two. So decide which staff you're going to play. One, two, ready, go. decided just to count one two because the rhythms are different um so I, I'm just counting one two okay now I'm gonna play the bottom staff I'm gonna play the bottom staff one two ready go one two 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 one two, one, two. all right that was lesson 11